Hello everybody and welcome to the Paper Outpost. Today I am very excited to show you what I've created. These are my new set of writing journals that will be for sale up in my Etsy shop as of the posting of this video. And um, I uh, was greeted by a very overwhelming request for more writing journals when I uh, put my last ones up for sale. So thank you, thank you very much for that. And I've gone ahead and made 11 more, so there will be 11 in the shop. And um, First of all, um, I would like to let you, you guys know, like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we together made over 50,000 subbies. That is awesome. And I'm going to have an official uh, um, announcement on the 50,000 subscriber um, number. Uh, uh, we got to 50,000 together, and uh, there might be a little fun related to that. So stay tuned, stay tuned, but it will be its own video. So, um, uh, okay. So, um, uh, let's take a peek at these and uh, let's see what we got here. So basically, um, these are, I took a, a book, I repurposed a book, I, I utilized the cover, I covered the uh, cover in a um, beautiful paisley uh, fabric, a very nice soft fabric, and I aged it and I put a, um, oh, let me, let me, let me give you a better, better picture here. Okay. Let me just make some room. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's look at that. Is that better? No, nope, no, nope. we'll go here. We'll go here. Okay. That's okay. Um, okay. So, um, I aged it. It has an exposed spine and, uh, these are approximately all the same size, pretty close. Um, on average, somewhere between, um, uh, maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch spine. Uh, they all have, oh Lord, I've got to do math now. Uh, 12 pages times 4 is 48 times 2, which would be 96 pages total inside. So all the journals have the same um, number of pages. They all have two signatures on the inside. And uh, they're primarily naked writing journals, meaning they don't have a lot of heavy decoration or anything like that on the inside. As you'll note, they are thin, and that is because uh, they're not all bulked up with stuff. But um, uh, a lot of people do enjoy writing in journals and I wanted to create something that would be very flat, very easy for people to write with. And on the outside of these, I have bound them with a sari silk attached to an eyelet and I have attached a little unique, a vintage, um, boop, a little vintage key. And, um, these are just adorable, um, uh, skeleton style keys and, uh, they're all a little different. So it's kind of the luck of the draw, <laughs> but they are all beautiful uh, aged keys. And uh, let's just take a peek into one of these little babies. Okay, so I just tucked it in the back. Here, let me back up so you can see a little better. Oh, back up. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm taking, unwrapping it. And uh, the reason why I did this wrap this way is because if you do decide to decorate the inside and the journal grows, you're going to have enough of this to... Uh, uh, bind it as you wish. And you can also remove this. This is not permanent. This is just a slip knot here and that can be removed right out if you, if you don't prefer a, a, a bound, a binding to it. And you could just hang a little, um, garment pin or a, uh, a little cutie boo or something there, um, instead, or just leave it plain. Okay. And so on the front, it has a coffee dyed. Well, that's horrible. Hang on. <laughs> okay. On the front, it has a coffee dyed, um, a uh, piece of paper uh, covered by a metal book plate and it has four metal corners. Okay. And uh, the front and the back are uh, basically the same. Okay. And let's take a peek inside. Let's take a peek inside. Okay. So inside you're going to have uh, two plates. These plates are made with uh, vintage dictionary paper and um, uh, wrapped around a piece of cardstock and then mounted on here. And then that is going to be the same in the back. There's also a piece of material reinforcing the spine. And I've also gone ahead and reinforced all the spines with Tyvek tape so they're very strong. And um, I have added a few little goodies because I can't help myself. And uh, uh, so this is what I've put in here too. You've got a nice little piece of writing paper. Um, it's folded in half. So you've got that. There's a little journal card in here and it's blank on the back so that you can do what you want with it. I try, I really, I really tried not to over embellish anything because I, I have a habit of doing that. So, um, I wanted you guys to have the fun doing what you want with these. And I put in here a vintage envelope and inside every envelope, there is also, these are, uh, 
checks from 1913. Original, uh, I guess, yeah, they are uh, over 100 years old now, so they're antique checks. And uh, so you're going to have one of those in there just to check out. Kind of neat to hold something that's over 100 years old. And that's just clipped on here, and that's removable. And, and you can put your own little interesting tuckables in there if you wish. You can also fold the envelope in half, or you can wrap the envelope around a page as so if you don't want it sticking out the front or the back and just clip it on there. So just some different ideas with the envelope. Just wanted to give you something to play with. And then on the very back, there is a... Um, a little pocket. It's a free removable pocket with a journal card on the inside. I didn't do anything to the journal card because I wanted you to have the, the joy of uh, doing what you like with it, having some fun with it and giving it your own pizzazz. So you could uh, just clip uh, journal, this little uh, pocket onto any page or you could glue it onto the back. You could uh, do an L-shaped glue and make it a tuck. Um, just glue here and make it a, a side tuck. A lot of things that you can do with that. Okay, so here we go. This is what the journals look like. And they do, like I said, they have that cute little key. And this just, I just tucked this in the back. You can tuck it into the front, but <clears throat> either way, I hope you enjoyed these. And uh, these are gonna be available right now in my Etsy shop. And like I said, I do have 11 of them. Um, they are very close to the same size and they range in, on average anywhere from about Mm, I would say, um, uh, like, uh, there are approximately eight. I'll have all the dimensions in the in the description box, but um, I think they range from like seven and a half to five and a half to maybe nine by six, just depending on the actual book I used. But they do all have the same number of signatures and the same number of pages in each. So I hope you enjoy these and I'm very excited uh, to present them to you. And I'm looking forward to talking with you too. And, and thank you so much everybody for all your encouragement and support all along. I could not do this without you guys. Um, you bring such joy to my heart. So you have no idea. Um, it's just uh, awesome that we're all hanging out, playing together with the papers and that just fills my soul. So I uh, thank you very much for spending time with me. I love spending time with you and I will talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. And remember to create with reckless abandon. Take care. Bye.